This mass is offered for the soul of Luisa Rodriguez. It's the month's mind mass. We also offer this mass for 15 box intentions. Today we encounter in Jesus a God full of merciful love for whom nothing is impossible. At this Eucharistic celebration, let us bring to him all the difficult and impossible situations of life because he gives himself wholly to us and invites us to trust him with all our cares. Today, the church also celebrates Prison Ministry Sunday. Let us, at this Eucharistic celebration, pray for all our brothers and sisters behind bars and for all the volunteers who dedicate their time to minister to them. For our entrance hymn, kindly take hymn number 409. We shall sing the first and the fourth verse. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. I will recount, Lord, thy wonderful deeds. I will recount, Lord, thy wonderful deeds. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's liturgy, my dear brothers and sisters, invites us to be generous and be concerned towards others. Let us recall the moments that we have been insensitive, not so generous, not so concerned about others, and asking the Lord to forgive for those moments. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated 
at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread? Your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen. Listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me. Listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favors promised to David. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response is, Lord, you open wide your hand, you grant our desires. Lord, you open wide your hand, you grant our desires. Together. Lord, you open wide your hand, you grant our desires. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Our response. Lord, you open wide your hand, you grant our desires. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. Our response, Lord, you open wide your hand, you grant our desires. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Nothing can come between us and the love of Christ. Even if we are troubled or worried or being persecuted or lacking food or clothes or being threatened or even attacked, these are the trials through which we triumph by the power of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, 
neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Hallelujah, whoever comes to me will not hunger. Hallelujah, whoever believes in me will not thirst. Together, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this and leaving the towns went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place and the time has slipped by. So, send the people away and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, all we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted and they collected the scraps remaining, twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. There was a young man walking along the roadside, looked at people suffering, children begging at signals, the hungry struggling to get a single meal, asked the Lord, What are you doing? Don't you have eyes 
to look at these people's suffering god answered him i know their sufferings i want to reach out to them that is the reason i created you my dear children my dear brothers and sisters it is important to remember that every one of us is been created by god with the mission to love him and love his people and to reach out to his people today's first reading taken from the old testament shows how god was so concerned towards his people the words of isaiah gave a lot of hope to the people who were waiting for freedom from babylonian captivity god was so concerned and wanted wanted to make a covenant with his people in the second reading saint paul seems to be very concerned about all of us he uses very strong words in his writings he says it is important to have a strong faith in god if you have a strong faith in jesus nothing can separate us from the love of god the gospel passage shows us the generosity of jesus here my dear children i want your attention now this incident happens soon after a reject rejection from his own village people and after hearing the news about john the baptist death jesus wanted to go alone why jesus wants to go alone my dear children you all know that he went to pray a lonely place surely is a very helpful for every one of us to pray to god without any trouble so jesus won isolate isolated himself and he went in prayer as he moved to a deserted place he watched a big crowd coming towards him in no time they came to that deserted place where there was no food no drink and no fruits they came just to meet jesus now jesus understood what they wanted they wanted the word of god so he spoke to them and gave them the word of god after a long time of preaching and healing jesus realized that these people were hungry by this time the disciples decided them to send decided to send them back their homes but jesus said give them food this shows that how compassionate and how much generous jesus was because the disciples saw a great crowd but jesus could see in that crowd some sick people some old and even some children now the challenge was to arrange food for the great crowd the disciples said we don't have enough food to feed so many people jesus asked how many loaves do you have the disciples answered a little boy has got a few bread now my dear children listen carefully this small child was asked to share whatever he had what a surprise he was so generous and he was ready to share whatever he had so jesus received these bread from this little boy and said the blessings and gave it to the crowd this little boy became an instrument in the hands of god for this great miracle so my dear children be ready always god can use you 
as great instrument for his missions jesus could have done this miracle even without these five loaves and two fish even without a help from anyone but he looked uh, but he took a help from these little ones and these disciples this shows that god wants every one of us small and big to partake in his mission so it is very important to know that god wants our hands join with him with this powerful hands to do marvelous things so my dear children after listening to this miracle you can understand how concerned jesus was towards the needy people and how much generous jesus was towards others as i invite you to be generous and to be concerned towards others i would like to ask you three questions not now towards the end of the mass so be ready to answer my questions you can answer this uh, questions and tell the answers to your parents afterwards i would like to complete uh, end my homily with a small incident which took place recently few days back a call came to the office from a old man asking for a meal as he was alone at home i immediately consulted with other priests and quickly i was given a number to contact particular lady so we established this contact and the poor man was assured and given enough food my dear brothers and sisters i am sure my dear children the miracles are still continuing in our daily busy schedule we fail at times to be compassionate holding on to some norms and rules and regulations we are rigid at times we struggle to balance between following the norms and being compassionate whatever may be a uh, negative experience or positive experience jesus wants us to grow towards uh, compassionate grow in compassion towards others and in generosity towards others amen please stand all together i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now bring our needs before our loving god trusting in his infinite mercy our responses merciful lord hear our prayer please repeat merciful, merciful lord, lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer for our pope bishops the clergy and religious that this present unique time of separation will be a time of renewal and transformation of finding new spiritual roots springing up and going deep let us pray to the lord 
merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations and heads of institutions, that the Holy Spirit may inspire them to take judicious and timely decisions with wisdom and courage during these challenging times. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For those facing desperate and hopeless situations in their health, relationships or finances, that Lord's gaze of compassion and mercy will be turned towards them and fill them with new hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are wrongly accused and imprisoned, that our merciful Lord may bless them with positive self-realization and legal assistance and that they may be released fast. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have become members of our parish community that they may continue to experience the grace of God through the sacraments and community fellowship. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. We now pray for our personal needs and those of the community. Our response, merciful Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. God of compassion, you alone are the answer to all our needs. Hear us this day according to your promise. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For offertory, we shall take hymn number 187, I give my hands to do your work. I give my hands to do your work and Jesus Lord I give them willingly I give my feet to go your way and every step I shall take cheerfully Oh the joy of the Lord is my strength my strength Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help, for the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear children, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oswald Gracious, and all the clergy. We in a special way remember to pray for all those who celebrate their birthday today, and the wedding anniversary today. And especially for all the children, those who are searching for admission in various colleges. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the church invites us to pray for the prisoners, let us keep all the prisoners all over the world. May, they, may the justice be done to them. Let's all together pray to the Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare our minds, our heart, and our entire being to receive Jesus spiritually into our hearts. Together we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For our communion, we shall take him number 451. We shall take the first and the fifth verse. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When in a prison you came to my cell, when on a sick bed you cared for my needs, now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, 
that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall all recite the prayer together. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Notices on 2nd and 3rd August 2020. The IC Parish Fathers and PPC members, on behalf of our large and vibrant Catholic family, express our appreciation and thanks to the production team of the youth group, the fighting MCs, cheerful participants and technicians and all involved in last Sunday's joyful virtual Parents' Day program. This Tuesday, 4th August, is the feast of John Marie Vianney, patron saint of diocesan clergy. Please pray in a special way for needed vocations for our parish fathers and also for all sick and retired priests. On 9th August, Vianney Sunday, the virtual program prepared by the PPC will be streamed at 11 a.m. and the concelebrated feast mass presided by the parish priest at 5.30 p.m., both via the church YouTube channel. Project Thank You Let's celebrate their vocation. Organized by the Parish Youth Council will also be streamed next Sunday, 9th August via all PYC media channels. Individual timeline videos on each priest of our parish will be broadcasted at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. We wish all our parishioners a pleasant weekend. Stay safe and may God bless you. My dear children, now the time for three questions. All these three questions are based on the generosity and the compassionate hearts of Jesus, Mary and the early Christians. So you can prepare yourself with an answer and check with your parents. The first question, what was the name of the tax collector who was rejected by many but accepted by Jesus even to have a meal at his home? So what was the name of this tax collector? Second question, what was the incident or event that Mary was so concerned about a particular family and helped Jesus to perform his first miracle. What was that incident? The third question, in which book of the Bible we find the early Christians so generous bringing together their money, food and all their properties to share with 
the less fortunate which book of the bible we find this that's all please stand the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god look up to the lord put your hope in the savior we shall take him number 435 435 We see the troubles in our lives. We wonder why things are this way. Why is there pain? Why is there loneliness? Is there one who can help us in our need? Look up to the Lord put your hope in the savior he showed us that to live we first must die Look up to the Lord put your hope in the savior the darkness of his death has turned to light Life can be difficult at times. The answers may seem far away. Why is there hate? Why is there selfishness? Is there one who overcame this trial? Look up to the Lord put your hope in the savior he showed us that to live we first must die Look up to the Lord put your hope in the savior the darkness of his death has turned to light the darkness of his death has turned to light in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen